Hello and welcome. I'm Annick Montgomery from Twisted Sisters Whangaparaua in Auckland. I'm about to release a pattern um, designed around my silk beehive, so I'll just reach over and grab it. These are silk glazed beehives that I designed back in 2014. The only colour on the beehives is from the silk hankies. So today I'm going to show you the necklines that I've been doing. Um, here's the round neckline. And we've done um, a rolled neckline so that the cast on ends up inside. So that one, you can use the easy cast on I'm about to show you because it will be hidden on the inside. You can also just up a size of needles, well probably a good couple of size of needles so that it's nice and stretchy. That's, we really do need the nice stretchy so that it's a nice light fitting garment. Now this one here, um, it's not rolled and I've got the Chinese cast Chinese waitress cast on on here and you can see the double ridge it's very tidy very stretchy I just love it so let's see if I can um, get this camera bent down without falling over and get a good shot of my hands so we'll just come down here that looks okay just try and give myself some workspace here and maybe if we're coming from this angle, right, so we're going to start with a slip stitch. So there we go, get the tail down the back so it's out the way. Now the, the needle with the slip stitch, we put that on the front and we go over the front needle and then completely around and pull it down the needle on the back. And then we're just going to pull this through, tuck, I call it tucking it through, pulling it through um, and then put it on the other needle. So over the top, just a minute, I've got it wrong. So the working needle on in front, get the yarn over the front, round the back and down. It's almost a figure of eight. Pull it down. Over the top, round the back, pull it down and then pulling that stitch through. Over the top, round the back, pulling the stitch down. So every complete movement gives us two stitches. So if I stop, and we'll go around the back here, and then we can see a set of two stitches, a loop. Set of two stitches, a loop. Set of two stitches, a loop. So that is what forms, I'll show you again, this loop inside here. So since it's rolled down, it's completely fine on there. You don't want it to do it on this short one here because you'd have a loop on the top but we're going to do the complete Chinese waitress stitch with that one there using a crochet hook makes the follow through so much easier so I'll just get my yarn back again we're going to start with that slip stitch again hope your hands are in the right place yes Right, put the slip stitch on the crochet hook. Get the working yarn where we want it. Right. 
So the needle that the stitches are going on goes in the front. Over the front needle, completely around the crochet hook, hold it down, and then pull it right through the stitch on the crochet hook. So swing that around, getting the twist out. Completely over the knitting needle, completely around there, and follow it through. Okay, so over the front needle, completely around the crochet hook, and pull it through the stitch on the crochet hook. So then we just carry on and also flicking off the twist. Over the top, round the back, so it's almost like a figure of eight. And then pull through there. Over, round, and down, pull through there. Now I'm going to put the last stitch on the needle here. And you can see there's a lovely row there, each lovely edge there, and one on the other side. It's lovely. Okay, thank you so much. Goodbye.